Hey guys, so everyone and their moms are in quarantine right now. So I thought what better review to do for my channel than to review some toilet paper. Now, you might be thinking, what is this guy thinking? But I actually am onto something, okay? Let me just tell you guys. So right before all this quarantine stuff hit, everyone was going ape and was buying toilet paper, right? So I was like, what can I do to avoid massive amounts of people and lines, but also get what I need because I was actually running out of toilet paper. And I thought of this brand that I've been wanting to try. It's luxury toilet paper. Yes, luxury toilet paper. And I had no reason to buy it except for when everything was out everywhere. So I'm gonna say sit here and drink my coffee, support local during this time if you can. I'm eating what is known as a biryani. For those of you who don't know, this is like Eastern European slash post-Soviet. It's basically like a holiday spice cookie type of thing and it's really bomb. If you guys can't find this, the next best thing is Starbucks's pumpkin spice scone. They come out with it in the fall and it tastes really similar to this, except this is a little more harder like a cookie. It's like perfection because there's just a lot of spices inside and it's bomb. So let's get to the toilet paper, shall we? So this is how it came to me. I ordered 16 rolls and it was $34 and no shipping, I'm guessing because of the time that we're in. So it goes triple ply, 100% virgin fiber, and then earth friendly. I'm not sure what that even means because yeah. And then lastly, what I did notice was wipe like royalty. Let's figure out what makes this luxury and we can go from there. So when you go to the website, the first thing you notice is aside from all the aesthetically pleasing things, it says made from the natural world. It says that it's organic and doesn't have any toxic ingredients. Now, I mean, does your ass really need to not have any toxic ingredients? One thing about this company is they are subscription based, but they do have an option to just order one time, which is what I did. But I think their goal is a subscription based membership. I don't know what kind of person would need a subscription based membership to toilet paper, but to each their own, I guess. So the three main ways that this company is differentiating themselves is that one, they're made from organic, sustainable ingredients, and it's a three-ply tissue as opposed to one or two-ply. Lastly, 10% of their proceeds go to a charity that helps uh, domestic abuse and things like that. So this is what it looks like. So the name of the company is Peach Goods and I'm thinking they got the name because of the peach emoji that represents your ass. This is what they have going on. It feels pretty soft, but I mean, doesn't every toilet paper feel soft? Um, it feels very like thick kind of. So yeah, it feels very papery and leathery. Um, like not in a bad way, but just it feels very sturdy. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try after I finish my coffee. So BRB. Okay, you guys, I'm back from my session 
and let's get right into it. So first thing I noticed is that uh, the width of the toilet paper is actually a little thinner than my regular toilet paper that I had. So obviously that can be a little problematic because you want to cover all of your hand. Another thing that I noticed is that it definitely is sturdier and thicker. As I said, it was three ply. So it's gonna be a lot more stronger and not necessarily harsh at all, but definitely coarse. So as far as the feeling of the toilet paper itself against my body, I didn't notice any difference between that one and regular toilet paper. So I have to say, uh, I'm not sure if it is worth the price point. It was $34 for 16 rolls, which basically is $2 and something cents for each roll of toilet paper. Now, if you're a toilet paper connoisseur, this might be the right option for you. But for me, I'm going to stick with my regular toilet paper. It works just fine. In general, I just feel like this option is not really that revolutionary. If you have environmental concerns and things like that, I feel like there's still other options out there other than this one. Personally, I won't be purchasing this again. I do have about 15 rolls to go through and hopefully I can gift some to friends. Anyway guys, that's it for this quarantine vlog. I thought that would be a fun little experiment to try. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys are interested in trying it yourself, definitely go to the link in my description if they have any availability. Alright guys, until the next video, be safe and take care. Bye!